in your soldering kit, you will have a pair of crocodile clips, a pair of CR2032 coin cell batteries, and a coin cell battery holder color coded in red. These items will help you to identify the negative and positive terminals of your LED string as well as power it. So to show you how to use it, first of all, insert some coin cell batteries into your coin cell holder. Attach the one end of the crocodile clips to the battery holder. And now, to attach the other end of the crocodile clips to the LED string, which as you can see, we don't know which sides are the negative and positive terminal, which is why this step is necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this and there's a little switch on the battery holder. I'm going to try to turn it on. As you can see, the LEDs have not worked. So again, I'm going to try the opposite polarity. As you can see, oops. So as with alligator clips, it is important to note that um, it can be a little bit loose. The connections can be a little bit loose and the reason for this is because it's just simply clipping. Once you have soldered the LEDs in place, they will be a lot more secure. So, as you can see, we have our LEDs lighting up, so our polarities are correct. So again, let's check our polarities. The yellow crocodile clip is attached to the black wire of the battery holder. This means that this yellow crocodile clip is the negative terminal. And therefore, the opposite color, which is green, is the positive terminal. So now that we remember that, we should try to give them different lengths. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the negative terminal shorter than the positive terminal. So this way I know that without the crocodile clips, this is the positive and this is the negative. We can now proceed with soldering. 